Now, I want to discuss a little bit today the subject of... Is the lighting okay? Yeah, I think that's okay. Sorry, it's not ideal. It doesn't seem quite right, does it? Anyway, anyway, I'm not going to restart again. Yeah, so the subject I want to talk about today is being let down by people. Um, in life, just generally, this is something, unfortunately, I've had quite a lot of experience also feeling a good vantage point to talk a little bit about this. But I guess most people have been let down in one way or another at some point in their life. Um, so, it could be a relatively little thing that builds up, or it could be quite a big thing that really gets you. I'm not going to name anyone that I know just because it's not my way but there have been people who are, have been close to me that have seriously let me down. Uh, it, it's hurtful and it, it does create serious trust problems. So especially when there's no sort of attempt to care. Um, it could be a little thing. So for example if you ask someone a basic question or th here's an example. You're in a conversation with someone online and then they, they just go. Uh, no goodbye, no good night, nothing. They just like they leave. Now that that's a relatively trivial thing. It shouldn't really matter. But then when they do it a few times and you start to think, well, it's a bit disrespectful. It's a bit sort of like... Um, you don't know if it, they're having a technical problem or if they're just going. And I've had that happen a few times recently to someone who says that they're a good friend. Now maybe it is a trivial thing in the grand scheme of things, but it is, it's just an annoying little thing that can eventually damage trust. And I think that comes from the fact that bigger trust has been uh, betrayed in a sense. So I've been in situations where I sort of organise an event um, and then people just don't bother turning up. and. It's one thing if people are sick or they want to do something else or whatever, but it is completely the decent thing to do is to let people know. What I cannot stand is people who do that then just don't bother saying anything. Um, so it's very important. To, well, I'm not going to give sort of guidelines or something, but um, I'm sure if you're watching this video you can relate to some of this. It's just like, I remember uh, about a year ago, I'd organised a day at a fairground, okay? So I was looking forward to it. It was going to be a good day. Um, and not one, but both people that were supposed to come with me just plain forgot. Forgot. So I thought, well, that's great. Uh, is this how you treat people that, you know, they're supposed to be your friends? Um... So the problem with people letting you down is it always uh, it builds a serious trust issue. Now I'll be honest, there's been times someone has sent me a message, and I've been too tired to reply. But what I will do is make sure that I reply the next day, and just explain that, just uh, not go into details necessarily, but just say I'm sorry I was tired, and then talk to them. Um, so I, I've no problem with that sort of thing as long as people get back and explain the reason why. But I think if you just ignore people, that's just plain rude. Now there might be situations where someone's contact you, you don't particularly like that person. I think that's a bit different because it is a little bit awkward. And um, realistically, no one's going to turn around and say, "Oh, don't contact me. I don't like you." It's not an easy thing to do. Let's be honest about this. It's not an easy thing to do. However, what does bug me is that people who say that they um, are your friend and that they say that they they give the impression that they do get on well with you then they treat you like that it's it's bullshit to be quite honest so honestly I'm just having a bit of a, a vent in this but let me know if you've had a similar experience um, I think it's also a different video concept rather than my usual videos about abstract political or social issues this is a little bit more personal so let me know if you've had a similar experience. It could be, of course, uh, there's other um, situation. For example, being um, being the victim, of someone cheating in a relationship. That's about the worst way you could let someone down. I think. Um, I've never. I've been lucky in that that it's never happened. Um, but I think it's a despicable thing to do, um, especially if uh, someone continues doing it. 
Like, I think there's a bit of a difference between one night's stupidity from drinking too much and one night stand. It's still wrong, but between that and a long drawn out affair. Um, in Western society, we've been led to believe that only when it's uh, it occurs in marriage is it really a bad thing. But I actually think that it's wrong in any circumstance. If you're dating someone, it's still a form of, frankly, it's emotional violence. Because especially if the other person is devoting a lot of time to you, maybe they even love you. And it's to do that, I think it's utterly despicable. I think if people are not happy in a relationship, they should talk about the issues. And if they can't talk about the issues, then they should just say, I'm sorry, this isn't working out and leave. But to go behind that person's back and cheat on them is despicable. And it's not about playing holier than thou. It's just I have seen the damage this does, and it's it's utterly despicable. I wouldn't do it if I if I'm in a relationship and I'm not happy. I would say to that girl, look, it's not working out. We this needs to end. But to go behind someone's back, I think it is one of the most despicable things you could do. And you know, I've I've more respect for people who do it and then make genuine attempts to show remorse. But some people do it and they don't care. And I I just think they those sort of people don't deserve happiness. They are absolutely despicable. Their behaviour is despicable. So anyway, when I'm talking about being let down, I guess that would be an example of being let down in a very profound way. Um, I guess it comes down to the victim to know what they want to do, really. Um, some people would choose to forgive. Some people would say to hell with that person. I think forgiveness is not... I don't think it's a strength of weakness. I think it's a, a, sing, a strength of strength. However, the thing with forgiveness is it has to balance out with the person being genuinely remorseful. So I do think it takes a big person to have the strength to forgive someone, but that doesn't mean uh, be a pushover and sort of uh, let them away with it all the time. So for example, if I was betrayed in that way, how would I respond? Well, if I loved the girl, I don't know, I'd have serious questions for her, and unless she satisfied those questions then... I don't know if I could forgive her. That's not something I want to make a lot of conjecture on because I haven't been in that situation. But I'm just putting it out there as a sort of, um, you know, because I notice a lot of people online are sort of very like, oh, I would trash the person, I would lay with this, I would discard them like that. They don't deserve a second chance, etc., etc., etc. But I think it's easy to judge if you're if you're in a situation where you love someone, even if you're angry with them, even if you know they've betrayed you, love is love and. Um, you can't really... I've been in love, so I know how powerful that feeling is. Um, and the truth is, for a lot of people, they don't want to be lonely because they know that dumping that person, even though the person probably deserves it, means they'll be on their own. So it's, these issues are not black and white. Anyway, uh, this is all about being let down by people. Um, I will make more upbeat videos later on, but for now, this is just about being let down. Let me know your thoughts.